Let's understand the permutations and combinations formulae in detail. Here is an explanatory example to help us do that. Look at the first question here. In how many ways can 10 children be seated in a row? So there are 10 children and there are 10 seats. Therefore, 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 until 1. This turns out to be 10 factorial. In other words, this is 10p10. So, see, 10 elements have to be arranged on 10 spots, and the order matters. We have used 10p10. Look at this one. In how many ways can 6 children be selected out of 10 and seated in a row? So, the first position in the row will have 10 choices. The second position will have 9 choices. Third will have 8. And similarly, sixth position will have only 5 choices. Thus, this is the value. In other words, this can be expressed as 10p6. Please note, there are 10 elements, but there are only 6 positions. And order matters. So it is 10p6. In this case, the two values were equal. 10 elements. 10 places. 10p10, which converts into 10 factorial. But here, there are 10 elements, only 6 places. So it would neither be 10 factorial nor 6 factorial. Many students commit that mistake. It is 10, 9, 8. Total 6 elements backwards. All right, look at the next one. How many different teams of 6 can be selected from a group of 10? How do we solve this? First, let's select 6 out of 10. Assuming that order matters, this could be done in 10 times 9 times 8 until 5, the same number of ways. But see, this includes different orders, whereas the question about team selection, where the order will not matter. So how do we remove orders from here? We divide this entire thing by the number of ways in which six elements can be shuffled among themselves. Now imagine in how many ways can six elements be shuffled. That would be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1, basically 6 factorial. So to remove the repeated selections because of unnecessary counting of orders, we divide this value by 6 factorial. In simple terms, this is 10p6 divided by 6 factorial. And this is what combinations is. This turns out to be 10c6. With this groundwork, let's look at the permutations formula. When r elements need to be chosen from a set of n elements and order matters, we use npr. That is, npr equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. Example, in how many ways can four children be selected from a group of six and made to sit in a row? So out of six, four have to be selected and arranged. Order matters. Therefore, it's going to be 6p4. Turns out to be 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial equals 360. Combinations formula. When r elements need to be chosen from a set of n elements and order does not matter, we use ncr. ncr equals n factorial divided by n minus r factorial times r factorial. Example. In how many ways can four children be selected from a group of six? So it's like forming a team. The order does not matter. We use 6c4. This turns out to be 6 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 2 factorial equals 15. Remember, permutations lead to bigger values because permutations is selections with ordering and combinations lead to smaller values because combinations are selection without ordering, as in the order doesn't matter. This was the concept, friends. GMAT shots are deliberately kept brief. For an elaborate explanation, please watch the Stage 1 conceptual videos in our program. Thanks for watching.